the No Excuses show. I am Eva Eckert, coach, mentor, entrepreneur, empire builder. Welcome to the show. I am your host today. How is everybody doing today? Make sure that you're logging in and participating in this No Excuses Ladies weekly show every Wednesday. I am showing up here for you. So what is really No Excuses all about? No Excuses Ladies weekly show is for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses in your life and find yourself unhappy and unsuccessful. Pretty much that's what the show is all about. This weekly show will teach you how to apply the No Excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided. Now, No Excuses Tribe is welcoming all the No Excuses ladies out there, all of you out there who are already a badass and maybe wants to become a badass. This show is definitely for you. I am here to help you to coach you, to guide you, to mentor you, to so you can achieve your full potential. I will teach you the power of self-belief, motivation, discipline, and mastermind alliance so you can stop making the excuses and start living the life on your own terms and the life you deserve and desire by being the best version of you. So welcome to the show again. Thank you for being here with me. It's just a weekly show that I show up here for you. I see you guys logging in. That's fantastic. Make sure that you are uh, know about the other social media platforms like YouTube because in our busy lives with no excuses ladies and uh, it was such an amazing video. I absolutely loved it based on my own personal experience. Gave you guys amazing, amazing gold points. Now, today we're going to be talking about how personal challenges in life can boost your performance, how personal challenges can show you uh, how to really reflect on how you perform. So stick around with me, grab a pen and paper and let's roll because I know that you're gonna get some time every week I see, um, okay, here we go, I'm back. Uh, so <clears throat> grab a pen and paper, write some notes down because guys, this is what happens when you attend seminars and when you attend different workshops, it's not only about listening, your mind gives you some awesome points. So that's why you should always have a pen and paper, write these down because mind drifts. We go from one thing. Hi guys. How, what do you do? How does your challenge look like? Is it a challenge that involves your mind, body, and business? Well, some of you might not have the businesses here, right? You might work for someone else, but just overall, write it down what it is that you do to challenge yourself. That's number one. Now, what do you do to feel enthusiastic and like happy in life? you know, challenges overall will bring that, but I want to get that from you. How do you make your life exciting? What do you do to spark that curiosity in your life? Something that it's different, you know, because life happens. There is a lot of obligations in life. There is, we have families, we have kids, right? We run around, we do these things, these chores and these things, but where is the pure excitement coming from? How do you get up in the morning so you get up and you have that vision, that amazing thing of life being created? Because that's meaning, that's what the full life is all about. That's what I teach you here, to be fully vibrant and excited and joyful. That's what the life is all about. So today, you know, I wanted, I wanted to really share with you our challenges, but before we start, you know, the human body, the human body, our, our body is meant for uh, creating challenges. Our body, our DNA always search for something, you know, what's the next level? What is, but a lot of times because life happens, we forget about this. And I see this with a lot of clients that I coach that because all these things, as I mentioned, all these chores, all these daily things that have to be done on a to-do list, 
that excitement and enjoy from life is being taken away, but it doesn't need to be like this, okay? So that's why creating specific challenges, maybe putting them on a schedule so they are always there, so you know that the challenge is coming, it's going to spark something different in you. You're going to be looking forward to you. it. You're going to get excited. Maybe you're going to create, you, you know, something towards that event. And I'm going to give you an idea. So some of you know me as an owner of Peak Physique Training in New York. We had multi-location, very successful company. We, uh, we were voted America's top trainers for our performance and for our clients' results. That's what it was. We trained over 20,000 people and gave them amazing results. So guys, at the gym, what was happening at Peak Physique? At Peak Physique, we would have challenges constantly. We would have six weeks challenge. We would have 28 day uh, challenge. We would have 21 day challenge. And what would happen during these challenges? That would be study. That would be, obviously would start from a desire of a person that somebody wants to change their life. They would have to come show up for the orientation that we would teach them the basic information, how to train their mind, body, how to eat for weight loss, what is expected from, from them, because there are expectation guys, a coach, I, as, as a coach, as your coach, I have expectations and you need to perform. Okay. So what were the expectations? Uh, what the challenge would consist of, how they, they have to show up and things that like that. There was grind included because these workouts were not easy. There was grind from physical to mental grind, okay? And that was going to the next level. So that's what the challenges were all about. But we also, as a team, as a team at Peak Physique with my coaches, uh, we would create, for instance, uh, our own challenges. We would do photo shoots. Photo shoots so we would keep us on our toes. And the photo shoot, anytime, if you guys never done a photo shoot, I strongly suggest you try a photo shoot. And, and then if you need a coach, contact me and we, we, we gonna get your body ready for that photo shoot. You know, you have a goal in mind. You need to be so on your toes with your nutrition, with your workouts, with, with your uh, uh, prep, uh, preparedness, with, uh, you know, the, the sleep, the hydration. There were so many things involved before the photo shoot because there wasn't just a regular photo shoot, that was fitness photo shoot. And what also taught us that there's no such a thing as going on and off. As a coach, you lead by example. You walk the walk like the tip of the, tip, the, tip, the, tip of the spear, right? So, sorry. A language, if you, if you are Polish, you understand what I'm talking about. The, the, the tongue twists and things like that. Look, that happens. And that's how it is with me, like an underdog, you know. Second language, English is my second language. For those of you that don't know me, I speak fluent Polish. My kids speak fluent Polish. And they are seven and nine years old. And that's the beauty. So uh, don't worry if, if, if your tongue is twisting as well. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on doing what you have to do, guys. That's how the life is. So anyway, off the track, these challenges showed us that that's if you are a coach, if you preach something to someone, you need to be a walking example. Maybe this was some thoughts with other coaches because you got to lead by example. Okay, you got to do whatever you do and you teach and you give it to some, some other people, you have to do it yourself. That's the congruency. That's when you go to the next level. So, uh, so guys, today I want to, I wanted to, to talk to you about, about the challenge that uh, my family, my freak family, which is Steve the Freak. I am called the you who watching this video right now never came across me, but now something sparked in you. Okay, I'm going to watch this. I'm interested in this. I wanted to get to know this coach, this person. Here it is. So this is a, our, this was our second challenge. It took 24 hours. I'm not saying for you to create a 24 hours staying up challenge. I'm not saying this because this requires some kind of preparation, at least what, what we do, our family is fit family. We've been working out all our lives. That's what we know from the kids that were little wearing, you know, the pumpers, still walking, barely walking around. They were already flipping tires. Okay. That's a different story, but I'm telling you, 
I'm challenging you today to create some kind of a challenge and maybe this video is sparking something in you okay and stick around because I'm gonna give you the 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 things that will boost your performance, that will create something in you that you never maybe came across. So depressing the way I'll challenge. We were st staying up for 24 hours. And of course, I'm drinking my water, guys, because hydration is one of the best habits for your life. Most people are dehydrated and they do not perform at high high performance like they're supposed to. Their brain is foggy, so make sure that you're gonna do cheers to your water especially if you talk a lot like me uh, so the challenge started on at noon on saturday and finished at noon the next day that was our second challenge but because it was something different compared to what we've done we did just the push-up challenge here we were able to use our own body with weights from chest press to squats to deadlift to bent over rows to overhead presses to uh you know bicep curls basic motions but non-stop okay what, did we have breaks absolutely we did have short breaks we were hydrating ourselves we were eating snacks we the whole idea of it was to push ourselves to the next level because we've never, you see, we've done 24-hour push-up challenge, but 24-hour lifting nonstop, we've never done. That was something new to us. And that's something that I wanted to explain to you. Life is all about the unknown. There will be things that will be well known to you, and you're going to have already an idea how to approach. But there will be a lot of things that you've never approached like we never knew how this challenge is gonna go for us we had no really clue how our will how our body will respond to it we did not know we just knew it that this is 24 hours and we gotta do we gotta meet this number for pressing the whale because we researched we were trying to figure out how much is the regular whale whales weighs and what's the number for us to meet that was the only goal that we had to just do it and try to stay up and not go to sleep, right? So during that time, we were hydrating, eating, snack, and most important, guys, we were making a competition against each other. Me and Tyson was like on a, uh, like on a battlefield. He was checking my numbers, coming, on, coming close to me, just looking at my numbers, and he's only nine years old. And imagine, we were going like head in head. Then he got a little bit ahead of me. I was taking some breaks. And at literally at 3 a.m., I made a conscious decision to take a few hours break. Now, let me tell you what caused me to make the decision. It wasn't my brain that was tired and I was falling asleep standing. Because let me tell you. When you squat, when you press, when you bicep curl, when you bench press, nonstop, your blood flow is going, is circulating. I was not tired. I was not ready to go to sleep. And let me tell you, when I made the decision to just lay down, my body was so wired up and so ready to go again. But let me tell you when I made the decision. The next day, we're supposed to go to our friend's house for a birthday. At noon, that was the birthday party. So... I made the conscious decision to stop and get up at seven, continue. But I was thinking, I was actually a little overthinking, let me tell you. I was a little bit overthinking. And that was one of the reflections that I did. And that's what I told you. What's what's happening with the challenges when you do when you do actually a challenge? At the end of the day, you do those reflections. You might you, it might happen that you're gonna do reflections throughout the challenge that these things are gonna come to you. But because we do journaling every single night and we write down about things that happen in our lives, that was one of the reflections that caused me to say, you know what? I let the excuses kind of like excuses going to some party take over, and I had two choices: either to push forward and to stay. And, 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 and kill the B-I-T-C-H in me, that second part that we all have it, we all have that weakness, and or, or pretty much going, going forward with it, or the other option was 
to never over schedule myself never never put anything on a schedule after the 24 ch hour challenge but the thing was that this was already scheduled ahead of time i couldn't get out of this I, of course i couldn't stay so actually the excuse of going to the next day party it took over but there was also there was another part that i did on my reflection and the connection that you create within this time because everybody are in the same room really working out we moved from uh, the gym which is our uh, our garage we have a professional gym setup we have the outside uh, outside we went to one living room next living room i'm not saying that everybody has the same house as me we, you might have a different place you might have just one room and you want to try this challenge go ahead guys because that's success accelerated really though that would be the thing and then let me tell you uh, around around i think 10 30 around 11 a.m an hour before the challenge was over i'm receiving this email and this is not just an email that obviously we were working for all the time you can check emails you can do other things you can do posts it wasn't an email that would require just a response. That was an email that required documents, that required some things that I had to do. And that was time of the essence. That wasn't something that I could have left and put it later. I had to act on it. That was time of the essence. And then at the end of, let me tell you what I did. So I stopped the workout. I started doing these things as Tyson was going forward and we were going head in head. There was like a competition going on. He was checking my numbers. Steve, Steve was, uh, was uh, like the, uh, uh, intro, uh, I was calling him the, the intrigator. I'm like, you are, uh, uh, he was like, she's ahead of you. Then, uh, uh, what are you going to give up? And he was, Tyson keeps on coming and checking my numbers. And, and we were just going ahead and, you know, one by one close to each other. It was pretty funny, that competition going on. And I wanted to win too. And he wanted to win. He's like, I'm going to bury you, mother, <laughs> which is awesome. Healthy competition is great, guys. There is nothing wrong with it. So get over it with if, if your kids wanted to uh, go be better than you. It's fine. And you should be trying to go as much as you can. So anyway, uh, I stopped because I was doing this. But let me tell you, at the end of the day, when I was doing my reflection, I'm like, I made a huge mistake. And it actually, this, 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 this epiphany, this brightness came to me when I was doing this email. It was like the second voice saying, Eva, you're still not done. What if it's going to take you too long and you're not going to be able to go downstairs and do a few more reps? You're kind of losing thousands and thousands of pounds here. And it was like a sparking thing. And I just give it like I did not meaning like I stayed with that email I was working instead of going downstairs getting the dumbbells because we would go to the bathroom with the dumbbells we were walking around doing bicep scrolls presses just to get ahead so I could have been at my desk I have that awesome desk that raises up like I'm with you guys right now has attachments and with click of the button the desk goes up with press of the button the desk goes down super high tech nowadays right monitor is ginormous Enormous. so I could have been standing doing my work and lifting my weights and the excuses showed up so look you see everybody has it so it's not about being perfect it's about like what you do with this so I finished 20 minutes before I jumped in did my reps but the whole point is that I don't think first of all if we never done this challenge I would have never knew known that Steve can press 230 pounds of weight. I would have never known that my son can do 145 pounds and change with weights. I would have never known that I can achieve 138 pounds of lifting weights. I would have never known that my seven year old daughter can lift 15,000 pounds of weight. I mean, those numbers show. We, with our calculations, we got to the point that we were able to achieve this goal. We pressed the whale. Because combination of these numbers give, it, give this to you. So the goal was achieved. But what else happens here, guys? What will point your weak spots? The challenges will point your weak spots. 
your your drawbacks your imperfections the ugly can come out the competitive side will come out the beast will come out and wake up the beast wake up the beast because all of you have the beast some of you just forgot about the beast we all have the beast in us i've seen it being raised at the gym for many, many years. I've seen this. I've seen it from people that you would have never expect to have it. And all of us do. So why are you burying the beast? The beast has to come out. You have to let it go. You have to let it shine. Let it, let it go wild. The competitive nature, the point, the point is here to have this breakthrough. So the breakthrough shows in the amount of weight, like you can go more than you can ever imagine. You can go beyond things that you've never expected to do, number one. Number two, the reflections, like we journal. Journaling is helping you to discover you, yourself, uh, gratitude for life, appreciation daily. If I did not do that, if I didn't write, I would not have that reflection of realizing that I could have done this, uh, this last piece of emailing, doing this thing with my weight. I probably, I don't know if I would have thought about this. You know why? Because life goes so fast and you guys, nobody pauses anymore. Everybody keeps on going, grinding like the crazy hamsters and this, this crazy homes. When you see YouTube videos, we watch those sometimes with kids. Bravo to those who built those crazy homes for these hamsters. But anyway, your life happening so fast that from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, sometimes you don't even know you've done. you like, wait a second, what happened today? Sit down, grab a pen and paper, give yourself 20 minutes instead of scrolling for Facebook, for Instagram, and just do your freaking thing. Write it down what happened. Because if I would have asked you what happened a week ago, you don't even remember. Unless... You freaking press the wheel like we did. Unless you climbed that mountain like some other project guys did. Unless you did a push-up challenge. Unless maybe you did some amazing, crazy trip. Why, tell me, why all our vacations always are so memorable? memorable? Why? Because you've tried food that you know this, that you've learned. That's what you remember. So that's what I'm calling for you guys. Create the experiences for yourself and for your spouse, for your family. That's living. I'm not saying 24 hours. You won't join us. Please send me a message. Send me a message here. Send me a message on YouTube. Send me a message on Facebook that you guys want to join the next challenge. I would love to have you on board. It would be awesome. But please what else these challenges do they stretch you stretch your abilities like a rubber band did you get that have you ever touched the rubber band i'm sure you did what the rubber band does it's like stretches it that's what you do with your body with your mind that's what happened during our workout and that's what happens during the challenge it's like be like a rubber band stretch yourself and let me tell you with uh with if you guys know my story i have a hip impingement right it's a serious condition with the hip if you take my sessions if you watch my videos sometimes i talk about it sometimes i have to stop sometimes i have to stretch or i will tell you guys to go and i will have to like pause but you guys work out the thing is that with with the hip impingement it's always there so I have to modify the workouts. But let me tell you, that it's always there. So that little pain is not gonna, is not, is not gonna stop me from doing these challenges. It's always there. So why would I crumble because of this? So either or, I gotta live my life, right? I have to be smart about it. But when it comes to challenge, I give it all. I give it all what I have. And our family do it too. It will show you amazing capabilities of human body, human mind. It's just incredible to find out what you are made of. So dig, dig, dig deep, 
find that beast in you because we all have it. It's, you just have to find it. And these challenges, any kind of challenges is show you how much, you, what you can do. And I gave you examples, you know, from the gym to this challenge to the team doing these photo shoots. Uh, and and being on our toes and we would prepare go, going back for a second we would create this clothing we would i would go above and beyond to do certain things we would you know i went as far as to china to create the, the workout gear you know that were sold at peak and i had a whole line whole collection of clothing so it will push you to those gonna call that you've never even thought you can do so so guys, create those challenges, share with me what you want to do, and I want to hear from you. I want to see your answers. I want to know what your thoughts are, thought are and what, what, is, what is that that you do in your life to create that challenge. Because the point is that so many people will watch this video, so many, but what is the percentage that will actually do something about it, that will actually change something in their life? As I mentioned to you, to change something in your life, to scale, to do something different, it has to come from a desire. First is always the desire. And in order for you to access the next level, you have to study something, you need to learn something. We were learning about our body and our, our mind. And then for the process, that was a grind because that was difficulties, that was the struggle. And I always tell you, honor your struggle, honor it be in it don't escape it it's there it's always there and it's okay it's okay it's gonna be there that's life you know but honor it be okay with it but always the way how i look at it it's always within me it excites me it's like it's almost making me a little bit edgy and nervous and when i start when you start going and pushing forward the next level appears and you're like huh that wasn't that hard I can do this or huh I've never knew that I can do this it builds your self-confidence guys challenging yourself build build self-confidence tongue twister on me okay that's the Polish side coming out of me but wait till you if you if I would teach you the Polish language we would be talking about and this is much harder I think but anyway that's happened that's what happens so challenge yourself today and be the one who creates the challenge, who do something difficult, who do something, who does something different. Invite people, be the influencer, step up your game. And I am challenging you today to do the extraordinary. And this, the, the, the extraordinary, the situation that you're going to enter, it's going to give you something, a new experience, a new knowledge, and it will a lot of times help you to create things that you never knew existed. So with that said, I am challenging you to step up and level up. But how are you going to do this on your own? Usually it requires someone, something that will help you. Sign up for one one coaching with me and I will teach you the power of discipline, the power of structure, the power of next level. If not one one make sure you're signing up with our upcoming amazing peak account peak accountability mind body and business coaching program because this is a next level of peak physique this is something that was never done before it will blow your mind so there is a room for anyone the group or the one on one okay so a lot of people need that one on one a lot of people need that coach to push them to the next level so make sure that you're reaching out to me. For those of you who are watching the video here right now on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, make sure that you're getting in touch with me. Find out a way to get in touch with me. Send me a message, send me a DM, make a comment, and let's do this together, guys. So again, thank you so much for participating. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here because you guys are awesome. Remember, life is amazing. So be who you desire and, and really deserve and want to be. This is your life. This is your time.